The following trackside equipment is required for the ETCS to operate. A digital signalling panel. This controls all movements and also includes the traffic management system. The radio block centre, known as the RBC. This is used by the ETCS as the centralised safety unit. Connected via GSMR, it receives train position information and sends movement authorities and geographic information required by the train for its safe movement, such as line speed profiles and gradient data. It also manages other ETCS functions, such as transitions, which are split into three types. The grey level transition announcement icons the yellow level transition acknowledgement icons and mode transition acknowledgement icons that are also yellow. A driver's operating level will determine which mode icons are displayed. The RBC also controls the low adhesion function and manages temporary speed restrictions. It also checks the interlocking to obtain authority based on route status before a movement authority can be sent. For example, route set and locked, points locked and tracks clear. GSMR towers relay movement authorities to the train and are displayed on the DMI in the train cab. Within the forefoot you will find Euro Belize's. These are passive devices which do not need an electricity supply as the train's Belize antenna energises the device when passing over it. The data programmed into individual Belize groups is used to enable the train to accurately report its position and are also used to send fixed commands to the train. For example, to initiate a session with the RBC. In addition to trackside equipment, you will also find ERTMS signage. The start of cab signalling board indicates the start of ERTMS signalling. Block markers. These are used to divide traditional signal sections and a train can be instructed to come to a stand prior to a block marker board. A block marker board consists of a reflective square sign with an arrow that points to the line the marker applies to. Where used, each block marker has a unique identification plate. Finally, the end of cab signalling board. This board indicates the end of ERTMS signalling. The following onboard equipment is required for the ETCS to operate. The odometry subsystem, which is found on each leading coach. This is responsible for calculating the distance run by the train, its speed and acceleration. These calculations are based on two different measurement devices. Two odometer pulse generators, known as OPGs, detect the actual wheel rotational speed and translate it into a square pulse signal, with a frequency being proportional to the speed. These are located under the train and cannot be seen by the driver. Two Doppler radar sensors detect the actual train speed over ground using the Doppler effect. Radar signals are emitted and their reflection is received. A comparison of emitted and reflected signal allows the determination of the train's true ground speed. A Euro Belize antenna is mounted on the underside of the leading car. This emits telepowering energy, which is received by the Euro Belize and used to send a return signal back to the antenna. This return signal contains the Eurobelize data in an encrypted format. The European Vital Computer, known as the EVC, is the core of the onboard ETCS. It is part of the automatic train protection logic and is the unit with which all the other train functions interact, such as the odometer and GSMR data reception. The Juridicial Recorder Unit, known as the JRU, provides black box functions. For example, it stores important data and variables from train journeys, allowing later analysis. The ETCS Safety Isolation Switch is located in the cab, on the non-driver side back wall panel. 
This switch can be used to isolate the ETCS if authorized by fleet control. The driver machine interface, known as the DMI, is the interface between the driver and the ETCS. In most cases, it is an LCD touchscreen that displays interactive controls and indication functions. This allows the driver to input the required data and visualizes the output data. The ETCS Acknowledge button on the cab desk that can be used as an alternative to the touchscreen DMI transition acknowledgement for ETCS functionality. How to use the DMI will form a fundamental part of the ETCS driver course.